Hey guys, Chelsea Murray here with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior. Today we're going to show you one of the ways that you can teach your dog how to play dead using free shaping. So what we're going to do is break this process down into small achievable steps, rewarding our dog at each little piece along the way until eventually we have the behavior that we want, which is going to be his side on the ground. Once I get that behavior, then we'll start adding our cue. Let's take a look. I begin by clicking and treating Jude for laying down in front of me. Then I want to start focusing on shaping. My goal is to click and treat any body motion that he offers. You can see that I click and treat each time he moves his head, rewarding him for motion of his body while he lays down. After a few clicks and treats for head motion, he starts to offer me hip motion. I click and treat that rapidly. Now that I have clicked and treated both head motion and hip motion, he starts to offer both together, resulting in him leaning on his side and further leaning into it. I finally get the behavior that I want, which is him laying flat on his side. After a few bonus clicks and treats for staying in place, I release him to reset him. This allows him the whole process of getting back into laying on his side. As they start to figure out what you want, which is laying on their side, they will be able to get into the position faster and faster, which means you won't have to click and treat as often for those small intermediate positions. You can see that he has figured out what I want from him because when I release him, he comes back to me and offers the full position that I'm asking for. Once I can get this three times in a row, that's a good indicator that I'm ready to add my cue. To begin putting this behavior on cue, my goal is to say the cue, which is a verbal bang, just before he comes back to me and offers the behavior. I click and treat when the body is in position, laying flat on its side, and then give him an additional treat as a release when I say free. Do not be surprised if this takes you a little bit of time to shape, especially if your dog is new or you are new to the concept of free shaping. It's possible that it will take you a week to get your dog flopping on their side, and that's okay. Make sure that you're working at your dog's pace, keeping sessions short, and only working in two to three minute intervals with sniff breaks, play, or potty breaks in between. With consistent work and following your shaping plan, soon your dog will be flopping down on their side and you'll be ready to add your cue.